thanks to computers, scans of the inside of your body have become much better and easier to understand. Nowadays, doctors have razor-sharp 3D images that they can examine from different angles. From the outside, you can't see inside a body. Of course, you don't have to, unless you're a doctor who needs to diagnose a broken bone, tumor, or torn muscle tissue. In this video, we explain how we make the invisible visible. Let's look at four medical imaging systems. Ultrasound, X-ray, CT, and MRI. How do these actually work? Ultrasound uses the reflection of sound, just like an echo. The ultrasound system emits sound waves at a frequency too high for humans to hear. These sound waves are reflected in different ways by your muscles, organs, bones, tissues, or of course, by a fetus in the womb. The ultrasound converts the reflected sound waves into images or video. Inside an X-ray machine is an X-ray tube, which has a filament running through it. When you pass enough electricity through that filament, it starts to emit electrons. In an X-ray machine, the electrons collide with a metal section called an anode. This process creates radiation, allowing radiologists to see right through the body. CT stands for computed tomography, and this also uses X-rays. When a CT scan is made, you pass through a ring that takes a series of X-ray pictures from many different angles. These are then reassembled into two-dimensional cross-sections. During an MRI, you also go through a scanner. This makes cross-sectional images of your body as well. The main difference compared to CT is that MRI does not use X-rays. An MRI machine creates a magnetic field around you, and then it turns radio waves on and off in a series of pulses that transmit information about the structure of your body. So, now you have the whole picture. In the 20th century, imaging became one of the most important diagnostic tools, often marking the difference between successful and unsuccessful treatments. The 1970s was when the digital age of medical imaging began. The computer was a springboard for countless innovations. Thanks to computers, scans of the inside of your body have become much better and easier to understand. Nowadays, doctors have razor-sharp 3D images that they can examine from different angles. Artificial intelligence is helping doctors to better understand what is in those images. Doctors often use scans to discover abnormalities such as a tumor, bone fracture, or inflammation. Algorithms can help to recognize patterns in those scans and therefore discover abnormalities. For patients, algorithms and artificial intelligence make scans more comfortable because they don't have to lie still for so long. A scan that used to take up to two hours can now usually be done between 10 and 30 minutes. Nowadays, it's possible to do ultrasounds using an electronic probe that connects to a tablet or a smartphone, which means healthcare workers can do a quick ultrasound anywhere, at the hospital, the midwife's office, or even along the soccer field. Computer technology has made medical imaging smarter, better, and faster. It has improved the way diagnostic information is acquired, but also the way it is shared and translated into insights across specialties. Because in the end, precision diagnosis is not a static snapshot of a patient. It's a series of defining moments. And every new insight enables clinicians to answer the most important question. What shall we do next? Innovation and you, Philips.